This new exhibition at the St. Louis Science Center is Hockey Faster Than Ever, and it's going to dive into the science and engineering that goes into this very popular sport. I think it's going to be great for everyone, whether or not you're a hockey super fan or you're just coming at it from the science perspective, there's something here for everybody. So this is a traveling exhibition. Uh, we're actually the second North American city to be able to host this exhibition. And uh, every host city is going to get to add their own local flavor to the exhibition. And of course here with the St. Louis Blues, we have a lot that we can focus on. So when you come here, you're not going to just see the same exhibition that every other state is going to have. You're also going to see some artifacts from the history of the Blues that are important to us here in the community. You're going to see some incredible objects from the Plager family and of course Bob, Barkley, and Bill were huge in the early days of the St. Louis Blues. And I think it'll be a fun way to see a little bit of their personal lives. And I think by the time that you'll leave, you'll see that the NHL and uh, the St. Louis Blues, our community, are all intertwined in a way that is really rich and interesting, and it just adds to the story of St. Louis. Those of you who are longtime fans may recognize as you enter the exhibition, we've recreated parts of the old arena where the Blues used to play up until 1994. That's an important story to St. Louis, where it came from, why the arena was originally built, because it wasn't originally for hockey, and then how important it was once the Blues took home here. So I think it'll be fun, a little bit of a nostalgic trip, and a way that our longtime fans and those who are brand new can have a conversation about some cool old stories. But then as you get into the exhibition, we're going to start you out with the history of hockey because it's actually an interesting story that combines some native influences here in North America and some European games coming together at exactly the right time. You're going to learn a little bit about the uh, history of hockey, including some fun facts like there were a lot of early all-women's leagues. It wasn't considered something unusual. You're also going to find out that the first indoor hockey game happened in 1875 up in Canada. But I think even more fun is that the first electrified building in Canada was supposedly a hockey rink, which I think says a lot about how popular the sport is up there. While a lot of super fans may know a little bit about the history of hockey, some of our guests are going to come from it from a science perspective, so they're not going to have that knowledge. But I think even the biggest hockey fan is going to find something in the exhibition that they didn't know about the origins. And then as we move through, we're going to see how that history led to the developments of the game, whether it be the rules in the rink or whether it be the gear that the player is using and wearing, and how much engineering and design it takes to make those things function the way they do today. And I think it's important to see that science Science happens all around us, even during our favorite sport, and that gives it a way of connecting with all of us. We may not all be the best athletes, but maybe we'll design the next stick or the next piece of safety gear that is worn on the ice, and I think that that's an important lesson to learn. There's a lot of interactive opportunities here at this exhibition. We know that a lot of people learn through doing, and we're going to give you that opportunity here at Hockey Faster Than Ever. There's touchscreen interactives, which are, of course, all the rage right now. But we also know that some people want to be able to hold a stick and see how they can do inside of a real hockey situation. So we're going to let you fire some pucks down at a net, see how fast you can hit it or how many targets you can hit. It's going to be fun for everyone, whether you're a seasoned pro or it's your first time holding a stick. I'm really hoping everybody will have the chance to come out and see hockey faster than ever here at the St. Louis Science Center. It's going to be on display up until Labor Day. If you're interested in tickets, either call our reservationists or go to slsc.org.